And we're here with Ellerby, who just uh, finished, uh, about a couple hours ago, finished playing a set at Halloween Hangover here at the Ale Industries uh, Brewery and Taproom. How are you? How are y'all feeling? Uh, feeling great. Yeah, it's just a sweet festival. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot of fun playing, and it's uh, it's been great hearing everybody play so far. It's uh, It's awesome. I'm pretty sure that we should play again, but... We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I would definitely be uh, a fan of hearing y'all play again. The uh, the synthesizer monarch that you had was absolutely glamorous and gorgeous. It was, God, hit me like a freight train. Yeah. How would you describe your sound in a couple ways? And feel free to hold on to the microphone. Um, synthy, dark wave. Um, actually, I'll give it to the, uh, the main guy of uh, the band. Hi, I, I would describe it as Cynthia Darkwave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty much just like, you know, lots of uh, synthy bass and, uh, you know, swirly guitars and just like whatever rhythmic madness we can throw in there. Any, any additions? We're just a drab Majesty ripoff band. Just kidding. We really like them. Um, I, we, we would say they're an inspiration, I think. We do like their shirts. Um, but yeah, I think what we're doing is since we uh, have a different project that's a little more psych rock and rock and roll feel, this is sort of that, I don't know, the other side of that that we really like to do that we can't express as much maybe in the other band. That um, So Ruben's creative brain is sort of putting this music kind of in motion and Dustin and I are shaping the sounds around it. And I absolutely love playing synths and not being kind of the focal point so it's kind of nice to just sit in the back and play with knobs and you know cruise along you know yeah that's rad i love your guys sound so much um how long have y'all been playing together for well um i joined the other group uh rose hayes in uh, january um and this is our first show uh, we've been playing for about a week or two now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. two weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. Kate and I have been playing together for like two years. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as far as this band goes, we've been we just kind of like cobbled everything together in like a week and a half, two weeks or something, and just kind of like did our thing, <laughs> rapid fire. And going back to Rose Hayes and Ellerby, how many projects do all of you have kind of just networked around all of you? It seems like a lot to manage, but a lot of uh, avenues to express different types of creativity. I didn't hear the question. Sorry, entirely. Pretty much just the two right now. I think that Ellerby kind of was born out of something that Ruben and I had been kind of working on a project as a duo where we wanted to be almost what we're doing now. And then it took, you know, you know Rose Hayes kind of took precedence. And then and then we're like, you know what? Ruben's really the, the dark wave master, the lord of darkness, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> so it's just right now, it's just kind of the two projects. And yeah, it's, you know, we have the, the bassist and the violin player on the other group, but like, it, this is a nice way to kind of just, I don't know, keep it a little more simple and focus in that sound, you know. Yeah, I don't know if that answered it. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was only a matter of time before my musical ADD took hold, so. <laughs> With how you speak about the, uh, the structure that Ellerby has, really minimal, it kind of reminds me of a skeleton almost very straight to the point and sh like bare bones. What kind of, uh, going to Ruben specifically, what kind of mindset do you go into when you're creating dark wave music? Um, yeah, the, the skeleton is a, is a good analogy. Basically stripping it down as much as possible and like whatever like maximalism idea we have, it's just like do a thing and then dial it back and, and kind of like make as much as possible using as little as possible yeah. that's super rad and it leaves a lot of room for uh for just working on any in going in any which direction you guys want hey thanks so much to you guys for for sitting down with us really appreciate you guys and uh i love the set as well <laughs> <laughs>